The sweet, energetic glucose molecule is the energy source providing power for your living cells. Glucose from the food you eat is slowly broken down into two pyruvate molecules, extracting energy in a sequence of enzyme reactions called glycolysis. The glycolysis pathway requires energy to begin, delivered by chemical fuel, ATP. The primary source of ATP in your cells are mitochondria organelles. Deep inside mitochondria, chemical reactions of aerobic respiration consume oxygen from the air you breathe to generate vast amounts of ATP. The surface of mitochondria are covered with pores that flow with ATP. Sitting on this abundant supply of ATP is the first enzyme of the glycolysis pathway. The reaction of the first enzyme transfers a phosphate group from ATP to glucose, creating glucose 6-phosphate. The second enzyme rearranges glucose 6-phosphate into its isomer, fructose 6-phosphate. The third enzyme uses a second molecule of ATP, creating fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. The 6-carbon sugar is now ready to be broken apart. The fourth enzyme cuts the molecule in half, creating two 3-carbon sugars, each with a single phosphate attached. The sugar products are isomers of each other. One product is ready to continue with the glycolysis pathway. The sugar isomer, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, must first be converted before continuing to the sixth enzyme. The sixth enzyme adds a second phosphate to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate creating 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, while two electrons are transferred to NAD+, which is reduced to NADH. Halfway through glycolysis, the cell has consumed two ATP molecules, breaking down glucose, and is now ready to capture energy in return. The seventh enzyme transfers a phosphate group to ADP, creating chemical fuel, ATP. The eighth enzyme rearranges the phosphate from the end of the molecule to the middle. The ninth enzyme catalyzes dehydration, increasing the potential energy in preparation for the final glycolysis reaction. The tenth enzyme transfers the remaining phosphate group to ADP, producing ATP and the three carbon sugar, pyruvate. Glycolysis finally produces a net gain in ATP. The glycolysis pathway breaks down glucose into two molecules of pyruvate gaining 2 ATP and 2 NADH in the process. Glycolysis releases only a small fraction of glucose potential energy. The product of glycolysis, pyruvate enters the mitochondria through the same pore that ATP uses to exit then is transported into the interior. The gateway to mitochondrial respiration 
is a huge multi-enzyme complex that links pyruvate to aerobic respiration, yielding 15 times more ATP than created by glycolysis alone.